I am Shokumar from Tumkur, which is 80 kilometers from Bangalore. I am a retired employee of State Bank of Mysore and I am a world record holder in calendar. I have prepared a calendar from zero to infinity in a single page and it is a world record. Today I have come over to freshersworld.com to give some information about the calendars. Now I am giving you information about 400 years calendar and you can hear me now. This is from 1900 to 2200 years calendar I am showing it to you. From this you can calculate the day of the week from this calendar. So, I have given the code numbers for these centuries. These centuries, these are, these are called centuries. 1900, 2000, 2100 and 2200. These are all called centuries. I have given the code numbers. For 1900, I have given 0, 2000, I have given 6, 2400, 4, 2200, 2. These are the century code numbers. And also just like that, I have given the code numbers for months. You can see in the code, January, February, March, April, for every month, I have given the code numbers. January 0, February 3, March 3, April 6, May 1, June 4, July 6, August 2, September 5, October 0, November 3, December 5. Just like I have given the code numbers for the months also. Sunday is 0, Monday is 1, just like that, up to Saturday, I have given the code numbers. So, with that, how to find out the day of the week? This is 15th August 1947 is our Independence Day. Everybody knows this date, month and year, but do you know which day you have got the independence? No. Nobody, say, everybody say we don't know the day on which day we have got the independence. Let us calculate the day on which we have got the independence. So, how to find out this from this formula? So, I have written it a formula, century, year, plus number of leap years, plus month, plus date. How to calculate? You see, here I have written 15th August 1947. You write this 1947 as 1900 plus 47. Is there any difference? No difference. We can write it as 1900 plus 47. So 47. 2018 can be written as 2000 plus 18. No difference will be there. Why I have written like this means, this 1900 represents century. This 47 represents year, this August represents month, this 15th represents date. So that is the formula for our calculation. Century plus year plus month plus date. Here I have written this leap years also because from the total years we are having leap years also. Every four, year, four years once we will be having one leap year. So that is why I have written leap year also. Let us calculate the day of the week for this 15th August 1947. You see, here century is 1900. I have given the century code number 1900. That is 0. Put it here, 0. And here, it is 47. I have not given any code number for this year. So simply put the same 47 here. So in this 47, there are leap years also. Every 4 years, there will be one leap year. So, in 47 years, you will be getting, you see, 4 ones are 4, 4 ones are 4. You divide this 47 by 4 because every 4 years once, we will be getting 1 leap year. So, from 47 years, we will be getting 11 leap years. So, put this 11 leap years. Month, what is the month here? August. What is the month code number August? 2, put it here. And date, for date, we do not give any code numbers for that. Put this date as it is. Total it. You see, it is 75. So, for total week, we are having 7 days. So, divide it by 7. 7 ones are 7 zero. Remainder is 5. What is 5 here? It is Friday. So, our independence day is on Friday. 15th August 1947 is Friday. This is how we have to calculate the day of the week for this 400 years. Suppose one more thing is there. You see, I will give you one more example. 17th February 2012. You have to calculate the day of the week for this. Why I have written it? I will tell you now. 2012 is a leap year. If you divide this by 4, if it is completely divisible, and the remainder is 0, we call this as a leap year. So, this is a leap year. If you calculate it 
when leap year is there, when January, February you are calculating, then what you have to do is, you have to minus 1 from this total. That is the information you have to remember. If the year is leap year, you are calculating it for January or February, then only you have to minus 1 from the total. Otherwise, there is no necessity. So, calculate this. 2012, you can do like this. So, 2000 plus 12. 2000, century code number is 6. Year, it is 12. Number of leap years divided by 4, that is 3. February code number 3. Date, 17. Total it. It is 41. So, because it is a leap year, you are cal calculating it for February, minus 1 you do it, that is 40, divided by 7, you see, remainder is 5, that is Friday. This is how you have to calculate it. Now, I will explain you how these code numbers have come. This is very important, how you have to cal calculate the code number, okay. You see, for 1900, I have given the code number 0. How it has come? So, here 1900, we call this as century, that is 19. So, how to cal I have calculated the code number for this? You find out which is the next number completely divisible by 4, that is 20. 20 minus you put this number 19. Then the formula is minus 1 into 2, you do it. This is the formula. So, 20 minus 19 is equal to 1. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 0 into 2 is equal to 0. That is a 0. I give the code number here. Next, 2000. For 2000, you see, 20, 2000, you have to take 20 here, 20 as the century. So, next divisible after 20 is 24. You see, 24. So, like this, 24 minus this 20, as usual, minus 1 into 2. That is, 24 minus 20 is equal to 4. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. 3 into 2 is equal to 6. This is the code number. 6 I have given. Now, I will show you how 2100. 2100 means 21 is there. Next divisible number by 4 is 24. 24 minus 21 minus 1 into 2. 24 minus 21 is equal to 3. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. 2 into 2 is equal to 4. That is the code number. 4. And 2200, that is 24, next number, 22, next divisible number is 24, 24 minus 22, minus 1 into 2, that is 24 minus 22 is equal to 2, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, 1 into 2 is equal to 2, that is the code number for 2200, I have given it. Now we have understood how I have given the code. Now I will come to month's code number, how I have given. You see, next, January, I have given code number 0. Code number is 0. Put it as 0 first. How I have come, from, come to February? So, put this 0 first, then plus, January, there are 31 days. Divide this by 7. So, remainder is 3. So, February month, this January month code number, plus 3, put it here. 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. This is the code number for February month. And for March, you see, March, you take the previous code number for February 3 plus this February month, number of days will be 28. Divide it by 28. You see, 0. 3 plus 0 remainder is equal to 3. March will be code number 3. Then you come to April. April will be March code number is 3, 3 plus March number of days will be 31 divided by 7. Code number, remainder is 3, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. You find April code number 6. May, put this one 6 plus April number of days is 30 divided by 7. So, this is 2. So, 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. 
So it is more than 7. You subtract 7 from this 8, you will get 8 minus 7, this is 1. So may is equal to 1. If you get more than 7, you subtract it from this number. So whatever number you get it, put it here. May is 1. In this procedure, you can calculate all the months. You can see here, I have given January 0 and October 0. I have repeated the same code numbers. Here, February 3, March 3 and November 3 repeated. Why I have repeated the code numbers? This is very important. Because you take the calendar. It must not be a leap year calendar. This year it is not a leap year. You take this year calendar and see. Whenever January 1st comes, suppose it comes on Monday, every October 1st starts on the same day. Same day, every year it same starts on the same day. February 1, whatever day it starts, March also the same day it starts and November also the same day it starts. So that is why I have given the same code numbers. And one more thing is, suppose, I have given the 400 years calendar only here. Suppose you have to calculate 15th August 2836 years on what day Independence Day comes. So 2800 I have not given the code numbers. How to calculate this one? So one thing you have to understand because I have not given the code numbers even then you have to calculate it. The important phenomena of this calendar is, you have to understand, every 400 years once the calendar repeats. There is no necessity of finding any more calendars or calculating any more calendars. Simply for 2300, you put it here. 2300 is same code number, 2400 same. So, every 400 years once the calendar repeats. So, how to calculate for 2836? You subtract 400 years. 2436 comes. Is it available? 2400? No. Still, you subtract 400 years from this. You see, 2036. Yes, 2000, you are having the code number. Like this, you can calculate it. Every 400 years once, the calendar repeats. So, there is no necessity of writing the calendar in future. This is how we have to calculate this. This is one way of solving this calendar. I have prepared a calendar from 0 to infinity in a single phase. Welcome to our channel. Today we are discussing about the infinity calendar. You see, this is the infinity calendar in a single sheet. Here you can see centuries. I have given it here 0, 1, 0, 2 like that up to, up to 99. I have given here code numbers for all the centuries. Here you can see the star marks. This is the code number for centuries and years here is there. For every year, I have given the code number putting the star mark. Star mark means that is the code number for that year and month's code number, I have given it here. And here 1 to 49, I have given it in the table and in front of that number of days are there. Monday to Saturday and here it is number of days are there. You can see it from that table. This is the table and how to find out this? So here I have written it century, year, month, date because you can see here century is here, year is here, month is here and date. So how to find out because you can find you can find out the independence day on what day it comes 15th August 1947. You want to find it on which day your independence day comes. How to find this from this calendar. So here 1947 means for the first two digits we treat it as century, second digit two digits we treat it as year. So century is 19, here what is the code number for this, century you see 19, here 19 code number is 0, put it is here 0 and year, here year is 47, you find out what is the number for the code number for this year, 47 it is 2, you put this 2 here. Month code number, August month, you have to see what is the code number for August, it is 2, put it here and what is the date, we are not giving any code number for date, you put directly uh, date here, so total it, it is 19, from this table you can see where 19 is, you see 19 is here, go straight towards the day, here you can find 
Friday. So this is our independence day. Very simple thing to see from this calendar. And one thing you have to remember, if it is a leap year, you are finding it for the leap year, and the January and February months are there, then you have to subtract one from the total. That you have to keep it in mind. That is how you have to see from this calendar. Suppose you want to see the Independence Day for Independence Day for thirty five lakhs twenty two thousand eight hundred and thirty four. Example: How to see from this calendar? Then only take the last four digits only twenty eight thirty four. Take twenty eight as century, thirty four as year. So do like this only. You will get the day of the week. This is a calendar in a single page. This is a world record calendar. This is made by me. If you have any doubts, my phone number is there in that calendar. You can contact me at any time. Thank you.